I'm here at Laguna Seca for an exclusive first drive in the brand new Lucid Sapphire. This is it. This insane car is the fastest production sedan in the world ever made. It's got 1,200 or more brake horsepower from three electric motors, each one capable of 670 brake. It's basically drawing as much as it can through that battery to give you ultimate performance. And to do that, they've tightened up the suspension, they've stiffened the roll bar, and they've given this car a whole new package to give it more grip, more braking power, as well as straight line speed. So if you look closer in, you see these enormous, enormous brakes, carbon ceramic, 10 pot calipers and this carbon ceramic disc is a little bit different to your conventional in that it's, the carbon isn't just dotted around inside it's actually woven all the way around which gives it three times the thermal efficiency it means you can beat on those brakes without overheating them so lap after lap and really give it the abuse that it deserves and a track like this laguna you get no respite from the braking areas the straights are really short so these are going to be vital if you look at these tyres as well, they're wider, they're bigger. These are Michelin PS4S hybrid tyres with a low rolling resistance construction. And on the outside, you've got something along the lines of a cut two compound to give it the grip and assurance that you need in the corners with a bit of a stagger from front to rear. So 20 inch fronts, 21 at the back, which gives it that aggressive poise for cornering. If you look further back, you can see some more modifications. It's a very subtle wing, a little ducktail here, produces downforce. Downforce is bad for drag, but it's good for grip. So it's very small and subtle. This car is really shaped and designed to fly through the air and slice through it as efficiently as possible for long range, I mean the most of the electric batteries. So this is a small compromise to give you the performance you want to make the most of those tires and shore up the grip for cornering. It's very powerful. It could do zero to 60. Oh, that's crazy. I've heard it can do it. I also hear it can get from zero to 100 miles an hour top speed in excess 100 miles an hour so I'm gonna wear a racing suit and a helmet and see what this thing can do riding aboard the Sapphire pre-production test mule the turning is really crisp and the amazing traction of this corner, the power is linear so you can really control the slide coming out of this corner, get the power down and then it just shoots off down this straight. Over that crest you get this huge run down into this braking area, it's savage braking, you really get on the pins using every single ounce of braking. Turning, this is where the torque vectoring comes in, so the car is working, it's hooking the inside wheel with a little bit of brake, controlling those motors and then get the power down on the exit not too much sliding. You can actually see it just turning around that apex there. Beautiful and precise. Especially in these fast sweeping corners, you do get the benefit of that downforce. You can still get the car to square up on the way out using the power to control your trajectory. This is a beautiful part of the track. Laguna Seca, like a roller coaster, you really shoot into this corner, you up into the uphill section, using the camber of the road to really fire this car through, especially the bomb hole. This one really gets a good crush on at the apex. You get it right in the center there, feel that bump. The car hooks up, you feel it slam into the deck, making the most of the grip and traction from those tires. You've got this blind run into the skyline, late on the brakes, onto the ABS. And in we go. This is where you see the poise. The car just switches direction beautifully. Hammer down on the way out of the corkscrew. And into the fast bit. Surprisingly fast, given the lack of aero on this car. Carrying the speed through the left, all the way through, into this next high speed right, almost completing the lap now. One last big stab of the brakes, they just don't get a let up, constantly getting heated. Beautiful, great run, world a car. This is the dual motor that powers the rear axle on the Lucid Sapphire. And the big difference between having three motors at work instead of two is it takes traction control and torque vectoring to an all new level because all three motors can communicate with each other instantly at 10,000 hertz. That's 10,000 times a second. And they can determine how much grip is going to each wheel in any given circumstance, not just under power, but also under braking. Because one of these motors can actually go into reverse while the other one turns forward to hook you into the corner. That is a game changer. The thing is with Lucid is that the tech is only half the story. 
yes, they've truly laid down the gauntlet, left everyone, including Tester's plaid, trailing in their jet wash. But that's not what really makes Lucid tick. These guys want to change the world, and a 500 mile range Lucid Air will do that for you. But what the Sapphire in the air really tells you is that Lucid are passionate about driving. Their cars handle. Hello, can you hear me in the back? It is not acceptable to build EVs that can't handle a corner better than a milk cart. And Peter Rawlinson, the CTO and CEO of Lucid, literally steers this ship with both hands on the wheel. The better to feel the road and deliver driver engagement. So if you're looking for a performance beast with carbon free, depending on your source of energy, power and dynamic handling, then look no further. The Sapphire delivers torque that you can use to tease the tail at speeds of over 80 miles an hour. Nobody else does that, not even Porsche. It has compliant suspension that lets the driver dictate the direction every step of the way. High speed performance matched with monstrous stopping power. It's the complete package. As for the human race adapting to having 1200 horsepower instantaneously at its boot, so far, they seem to like it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Pretty awesome, huh? Yeah, that's great. It feels so good too.